Hello and welcome to the 77th tutorial in the Bootstrap 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at panels with tables. We'll be using the source code from the 75th tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. We have a panel set up. We can easily add tables to the panel to make a seamless way of displaying data. Let's add it immediately before the footer. So obviously we've got to open up our index.html. If we just open it up, scroll down, and as you can see, we have our panel right here. Got a header, or a heading, you can call it whatever you want. But the main body itself, we have the footer itself as well. What we're going to do it is just add it before the footer. So what we're going to do is table, add a, zoom in a little more, add in a class of table. This is already built into Bootstrap, so you won't need to code any of this, which is great. And then in here, what we're going to have is a row. And inside the row, we're going to have some data. So we're going to put TD. And we're going to close this off. It's going to have no class or anything like that. It's going to put ID inside. Again, what goes in this table and how it is structured in terms of the rows and the data and what's what all the pieces are called will depend on your website. It will depend on what you need to do, but we're just going to display like sort of a username system. So let's just copy and paste this, change this to username, change this to well, real name. And now what we're going to do is simply copy and paste this. Scroll down, and what we're going to do is change this to triple zero. That's the ID we're going to assign to it. Going to put Batman for the username. Real name will be Bruce Wayne. And for this, we're going to put double zero one. We're going to put Master Jedi. And for this, we're obviously going to put Yoda. Yoda, save that. And now, if we run this in our web browser. Scroll down, as you can see, we have a table within our panel and it looks really good. It's not just something that's sort of halfway here and it doesn't look seamless. It looks, I think it looks really, really amazing. And if we resize it, it resizes accordingly and it still looks really good. As you can see, it's started, so there's lines in between each row and they go to the end, which is great. As an extra task, remove the panel body and see how the panel with the table reacts and how it looks. The next tutorial will cover panels with list groups. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. All the required source code will be in the description. To see over 850 free complete to see over 850 videos completely free, visit sonarlearning.co.uk. You can sign up today completely free and you can take notes against any single video. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.